वेलकम स्टूडेंट टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ वी कैन इंप्लीमेंट फिवोनसी सीरीज यूजिंग प्रोलॉग सो फर्स्ट वी विल सी दैट हाउ वी कैन राइट द प्रिडिकेट लॉजिक वी विल ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड देन वी विल ट्रेस दिस एंड आई हैव ऑलरेडी रिटर्न दिस प्रोग्राम यूजिंग दिस फी प्रोटोकॉल सॉरी प्रिडिकेट नॉट प्रोटोकॉल फी प्रिडिकेट एंड सी दिस इज हाउ आई एम राइटिंग द क्वेरी फी थ्री इज द वैल्यू सो आई वॉन्ट third value in the fibonacci series that will be uh, that will be recorded in this r and i will get the value of r so in that uh, fashion i have to write this predicate so now see i will run this program and i will get value is equal to 2 and see index number 3 result is equal to 2 so index number 1 2 and 3 1 2 and 3 and result is equal to 2 so i will start from here if i take 0 0 and 1 1 That means f1 is zero, f f0 is equal to zero, f1 is equal to one. So in that case, I will start from here in this Fibonacci series. Index number one, index number two, index number three. So that's why you will observe that index number three result I am getting two. If I start from suppose one, then I will save this program, and I will run same program. You will get result three. Now why I am getting result three? Because I have started from one. so you will observe that index will start from here so 1 2 and 3 that means i will get the result 3 okay so for for 4 i will get 5 and for 5 i will get 8 so i will use 5 here position 5 okay so i will get the result 8 okay i will get the result 8 so 1 2 3 4 and 5 okay so basic logic we know Fibonacci series. Normally, it is a Italian word, Leonardo the uh, Fibonacci. Uh, in Marathi, we uh, pronounce like Fibonacci, but it is actually Fibonacci in Italian. So I will prefer the Italian pronunciation, Fibonacci series. And in that, you will observe that one uh, plus one is equal to two, two plus one is equal to three, three plus two is equal to five, five plus three is equal to eight. In this fashion, we are going to get the result. so if i want a result in this index number so if index starts from the year 1 2 3 4 5 and i want result at the index number 5 so i have to see previous term and one more previous term so 5 plus 3 okay so the previous term plus the previous term of this term that is 3 it is equal to 5 plus 3 so then i will get the result so that means what if uh, i want to find out fn then fn minus 1 And f n minus two, I have to sum. Correct. I have to do addition. So in that, I will get this result. So that is what the basic logic of Fibonacci series. So and see uh, the problem they have given in the in the book to solve you. That uh, that also I will show you. See the the problem they have asked is the same same f zero is equal to one, f one is equal to one. In that case, they told to find us the Fibonacci series. Correct. so for that what i will do i will write first this is 0 and 1 that means what at 0 uh, show the result 1 so this is nothing but it represent result okay at the index position 1 show the result 1 okay so for at this position you will get 1 at this position you will get 1 um, the result you will get 1 and in case suppose if your n is i will keep This is one greater than one. If n is greater than one, number is greater than one. Suppose user entered two. So in that case, what should happen? Or if user enter three, in that case, what should happen? I will get the result. Too many queries. Run. So again, too many queries. I will save this and then try. Okay. So I will get the result three. Okay. In case of three, because I have started from here one, two, and three. Okay, now we will see the logic behind this. For that, I will trace this. So, how to trace? T R C E. You have to write down, and then run the program. Syntax error. Operator expected. Okay, sorry, I have written these things here. So, I will save this again. Update the program and then run. Okay, now see. Okay, so the first call will be three. We know that uh, we have entered three. So this will not suit here. This will not suit here. So this will come to here. N is equal to three. So this call will be executed, and it will check 
uh, whether the 3 is greater than 1 yes here we will get value 2 here we will get value 1 so we will check whether we are getting that values yes 3 is greater than 1 exit then n1 will be yes 3 minus 1 that is 2 so 2 is exit that means n1's value then next value is 1 yes 1 is the 3 minus 2 so n2 value we got now see we got the value of our uh, n1 that is 2 we got the value for n2 that is 1 now we will go for the first call that is what this recursive call we will come here and the recursive call will be with the 2 and r1 so it will go here and once again it will check whether the 2 is greater than 1 or not yes it is 1 greater sorry then 2 minus 1 is equal to 1 so here we will get value for n1 1 and for n2 we will get value 0 okay so n1 is 1 and n2 is yes 0 so here we can exit from recursive call because we got the values 1 uh, we know that for 1 we will get result 1 and for 0 also we will get result 1 so that's why you will see that 1 and 1 it will get what yes this one will become true and you will get result 1 and for 0 because n2 is 0 so for 0 also what uh, result we will get uh, that is one result we will get so that's why it will exit using 0 1 so here it will exit 0 1 okay now we will exit the call we have made here okay so this call from this call we will exit say this 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 because result 1 and result 2 we have to do addition correct so it will become 2 and now result will be stored in result 2 will be stored and we will exit because here we have completed the call now we will do the second call because first call we have done here okay using 2 now we have to do for 1 also so now we will go for that call yes using 1 and we know that 1 1 is already we know that value of bar 2 so again this will return what 1 so 2 plus 1 3 value we will get we will see whether we are getting or not yes this is 2 plus 1 and 3 value we are getting here we will exit and we got the result Fibonacci 3 and 3 that means the result is equal to 3 okay so this is what the working of this program okay so now you have to write this program and you have to test whether you are getting all the values correctly or not for example one more value i will take i will not trace sorry i will take the value only so i will check for index number index number suppose 8 okay uh, run the program you will get value 34 so we will go here 34 see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so index number 8 and you got the value 34 so this is what the fibonacci series uh, program uh, using what using recursion and in prolog we have written this program okay so in next part we will see how we can use uh, the remaining chapter that is what how we can use operators precedence of operator and associative this we will see in next tutorial Thank you very much.